Hey there, good morning, Twin Tiers. It is 7:10 on your Sunday morning. Let's take a look at our Cornell Skycam to start off, and you can see a little bit of light snow on the ground there, and we're going to see some scattered snow showers moving throughout the area, especially throughout the early portions of the day today, and then some scattered flurries lingering throughout the rest of the day, but skies will turn partly sunny. Uh, we saw it there for a half a second there on the Mansfield Skycam. Let's skip ahead to the Atwater Winery Sky Cam. And you can see, like again, like I mentioned, a little bit of snow on the ground. But speaking of snow, we're going to be adding to that throughout the week. Some plowable snow on its way midweek, starting tomorrow night, going into Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Let's get into the details of that right now. What you can expect the, the snow moving in throughout the week. A winter storm watch is in effect throughout the entire viewing area, going into effect tomorrow evening, Monday night. Across the northern tier, it goes through Tuesday evening, the rest of the viewing area through Wednesday evening. But I do think the northern tier will also see some snow lingering throughout the day on Wednesday. We have the potential for heavy snow, especially throughout the day on Tuesday and lingering into Wednesday. Snow develops tomorrow night, possibly heavy at times throughout the day Tuesday and then lingering into Wednesday. That's why a winter storm watch has been issued. There's three things that can happen with this. They can either drop the winter storm watch if they see the system tracking more out to the coast and that we won't get as much snow. They can upgrade it to a winter storm warning where the potential really exists for the heavier snow or they can issue a winter weather advisory. That's when we usually get right around three to six inches. So accumulations, the potential exists for up to a foot or more throughout portions of the area, especially the closer that you get to the east coast, with wind gusts up near 30 miles an hour. Live first morning radar and satellite right now, we're quiet for the most part, just some scattered clouds, light scattered flurries and snow showers throughout the area. Wider view, like I mentioned a little bit ago, you can see a system off to our north and west here. This system is going to be tracking east. Then we have a system across the southeast. This stationary front here will slowly slide up the coast. And you combine both of these together, that's what's going to bring us the snow late tomorrow and into the day through Tuesday and through into Wednesday as well. Winter storm watch out through the entire viewing area, like I mentioned, through starting tomorrow night, going through Tuesday and Wednesday evenings throughout the different portions of the viewing area. But you can see winter storm warnings and watches off to our west as well for the system that will be sliding its way to the east. And even blizzard watches throughout portions of Long Island and as you head up towards Cape Cod and Boston. So definitely a very late system and a very wet, messy system is on its way for the middle of the week. Snowfall accumulations, as you can see, throughout the day today and throughout much of tomorrow, just some light scattered snow showers moving throughout the area. But as I advance it through the last few frames here that we get so far through Monday evening, you can start to see some snow moving in from the west. And you're going to have to stick with us over the next few days as we get updates on this system. Because if the track changes just so slightly, that'll change our accumulations that we could get here in the Twin Tiers. Mostly cloudy right now at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. 13 degrees, 8 up in Ithaca with light snow falling throughout the area and wind out of the north at 8 miles an hour. Temperatures throughout the area, it's a chilly start to the day, but you factor in those winds, it feels even colder. It feels like 5 in Elmira, feels like 8 in Ridgebury, it feels like negative 4 in Ithaca and 1 in Cortland. Throughout the day today, we'll warm it up to a 5 degree guarantee in the low 20s under partly to mainly cloudy skies. And then we'll start to see decreasing clouds throughout the overnight hours and a few peaks of sunshine throughout the day on Monday, but then increasing clouds. Snow develops late Monday and throughout the day on Tuesday, lingering into the day on Wednesday as well. We'll map it out here with future track for you. Partly cloudy skies throughout the day today. Scattered snow shower can't be ruled out early, otherwise some scattered flurries throughout the afternoon hours. Partly to mainly cloudy throughout the overnight hours tonight and then throughout the day on Monday. You can already see clouds starting to move in and some snow developing off to our west and that'll slowly make its way into the area throughout the late portions of the day on Monday as well as into your day on Tuesday. Your five degree guarantee for today, 23 cloudy with scattered snow showers throughout the morning hours, turning partly sunny with some areas of flurries this afternoon. Tonight, eight degrees is all we're going to manage for a low, mainly cloudy with scattered flurries. Take a look at this seven day forecast. Snow develops late Monday, changes over to heavy snow potentially throughout the day on Tuesday. But like I mentioned, if that track changes whatsoever, it could really impact our accumulations lingering into Wednesday. And then we start to see some warmer temperatures arrive going into next weekend with 40s by next Saturday. So the uh, sunglasses, Kara, that I had out on the West Coast, I don't, don't think need I'm, them. Yep, I don't think we're going to be needing these anymore with all that snow. We're going to need the shovels is what we're going to need. Yeah, I. Craig and I were talking yesterday about uh -huh. uh, how it's about to be spring. Yeah. And it probably felt more like spring last month. 
That's for sure. Definitely felt more like spring last month, and this is a, definitely a late system moving up, but definitely going to be a lot of plowable snow throughout the area going into the middle of the week. All right. Well, not great news. But I'm, I'm sorry. I tried. I tried I to pack the sunshine. I know. Thanks, Ryan. It's okay. All right.